this kind of thing, you know, some people worry about how does this affect your mental state? I've been really diligent about staying in touch with how I feel because in this industry, you can get pulled in a direction where you're doing things that, that you didn't end up, you didn't want to do, but you're doing it because you think it's what people want. So I'm being really cognizant as I'm going through this process to, to do things and put things out there that I feel comfortable about that I can look back and say, I, I I'm comfortable with this years later down the line. I was actually just working a normal job. One of my bosses, CEOs at the time, just kind of stumbled upon this randomly and was like, "What? what's going on here? And then that call, that phone call was so, that was the one time in my life I was like, this will catch up to me one day. Uh, I don't know when. And that's the scariest part is that like when that stuff gets leaked, when that stuff gets out there, you're always just kind of scared that like, oh my God, this could come out at any time. And what happens when it does? Luckily, it didn't cost me my job. They were very understanding of the fact that like, look, I was a former child celebrity. There are things that come along with that. Um, and so they were very, very understanding that process. So I didn't end up losing my job. I was very thankful, but boy, it's still weird. <laughs> I'm very good at being cognizant of things, opportunities that come my way and kind of I just, when I feel gravitated towards something, I kind of follow my instincts. Mm -hmm. Several of my friends have been involved in OnlyFans and been very successful on OnlyFans. So I was very curious about it. And so I was always asking questions about it and learning how they got started. And you know, how do you do it? Like, what is, uh, you know, what's the process like? And you know, do you think, do things you're like comfortable with? Are you like, do you have to do stuff? Do you not like, you know, I was just asking so many questions but I was kind of following what my fans were kind of telling me and, and the feedback I was getting. Cause obviously I'd been building, uh, following on social media, the horrible things that happened of my stuff leaking and my personal life being put out there. The flip side of that coin was I was getting <laughs> a lot of uh, fans of that kind of content that were following my social media pages. There was at one point, there were people commenting kind of obscene things. I mean, my Instagram was just like me and my dog, you yeah, know, right. and all this stuff. And then they read like these really weird, awkward comments on there to the point where I was like, I couldn't escape it. And I was like, what do I do? You know, do I, I, I was telling my best friend, I was like, do I just, I was like this close to just deleting right. social media entirely and just like moving on. There is a way to take it and like create a, a place for these people to go and, and like, enjoy this stuff it just kind of all made sense to me after i put all the pieces together and i i was like why stop fighting this like wave of of energy that's like being pushing me in a direction like grab a surfboard and let's ride this wave you know and see what happens